Hey, what's up? So here's another one of my favorite artists, uh, Oxboxer, uh, also known as Gemma Saloom. Here you go. Oh wait, wait, no, wrong page. Here you go. That's her name too. Um, I love this artist so much. Um, and the coolest thing is, is that the artist I talked about before, Pexy, um, Oxboxer and Pexy are friends. And sometimes when you're in Pexy's stream, Oxboxer comes in and Pexy's like, oh my god, Oxboxer! <laughs> like, I don't know, they're adorable. Uh, they just say funny stuff together and like, they just seem really cool. Anyway, so <laughs> I wanted to talk about um, Gemma because her artwork is incredible. Um, it's so visually pleasing and like appealing and everything and strong, strongly designed. Um, the shapes, the lines, the everything is so dynamic and like powerful. That's, I don't know, her work just like hits you in the face and you'll never forget it. <laughs> it's so cool. I love what she does. And she seems like an absolute genius of design and just, I love it. I love everything. Um, uh, once again, I have a bunch of tabs and I'm just trying to show you a little bit less of each artist. Like I tried with Pexy to only show a little bit, so I'm going to try with Oxboxer also to only show a little bit and let you explore the rest if you feel interested in the artist. So let's go through Gemma's things. Um, also you can follow her on Instagram and Twitter and Picardo. I think she doesn't stream as much any anymore, but she stood, should stream sometimes I think. Uh, her Tumblr said she's on a hiatus for now. Um, yeah, also Pixiv, and she has a comic series, I think, series. Um, yeah, that's what it says on her Tumblr. Um, it's called Overreact, and you can get it on Tapastic. I think you can um, support her or not. Can you pay people on this site? Like, I'm not sure if you can donate, but you can read it here. Um, yeah. And if you want to give her some money, go to her Gumroad. She has some other series here, digital comic, art book, sketchbook. So that's good um, to support her. And she also has a Society6 shop. Um, sometimes I don't know all the things an artist has like to support or to check out more things, but I'll try sometimes to like either link it below or include it in the video. So yeah, here you go if you want to see this stuff. Um, yeah, so here, this is one of my favorite, one of the first pieces I saw by her a few years ago and I was just like blown away because it's so cool. I don't even have to explain why this is cool. Like if you don't see why this is cool, then I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. Um, maybe we don't have the same design tastes or sensibilities, but to me this is incredible. So yeah, also just the characters she does are so cool. Um, these are she does a lot of commissions lately so the designs might not be entirely up to her it might be like you know someone's character with a character sheet or other past drawings but anytime i've seen uh gemma oxboxer interpret a character it's been like badass it's always you see the personality of the character like shining through the pose the costume is so well integrated like the way this skirt is flowing and you know it's just beautiful. Um, yeah, she just knows how to make anything look really cool, I find, um, and striking. So I really, really love that about her work. It's just so strong. To me, like really just strength is something that like, I don't know, vibrates <laughs> inside her work and stuff. It like emanates strength. So yeah, really, really cool. I uh, just love it so much. <laughs> I love looking at it because the shapes are so interesting. There's so much dynamicness and like, that's not even a word, but... And I love this little, like, the way she simplifies things is beautiful. It's so pleasant. Like, these things here and the way they... The way they overlap and the shapes inside them and the colors. I love her palettes. They're really, really appealing. Yeah, could look at it forever. <laughs> And this too, this is just, man, <laughs> it's way too cool. How do you even get this cool? It's so beautiful. Everything is perfect. I really love it. This too, man. I love this tail. Everything is so sharp and like, just nice, you know? Favorites. <laughs> really cool. This too, I just, I love this. Absolutely love this. 
love everything about what she does. It's so cool. I just love looking at it because I want to like absorb her design sense. It's so nice. The way everything, like every single element has so much care brought to it. And some people think that simplified art lacks um, skill and stuff, but there's so much skill in and knowledge that you need to be able to do something like this. So I really admire her so much. It's really great. This too, it's so dynamic. Like this pose is so nice and so like fun and animal, you know, really cool. Um, she has this series like this where she does these motifs and like the designs are like kind of in a diamond shape and it's freaking incredible. Just look at it, like she um, summarizes the animal into this design that will fit the diamond and like it'll fit into this like repeatable pattern and it's so 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 cool. Hey sorry I had to take a tiny break, uh, there's construction upstairs and there has been some for a few days so that's why I haven't been doing that many of these because I start a sentence and then like it goes Vang! so sorry. Okay, um, anyways what I was saying was I love the way she designed these things to fit into the, the little diamond shape because it just makes so much interesting like shape design um, and all the topics she's challenging herself to do it's just beautiful the way she's managing to um, streamline all of this stuff I guess I don't know how to say it but it all fits so well and the shape language is beautiful I love it I just think this shows so much skill and like exploration and just it's beautiful work I love it I love all this this whole series she's done and you can buy them as prints and stuff so check it out yeah and these are more character designs, um, I mean, sorry, commission, ca character commissions, <laughs> yeah, but man, I just love the way she designs creatures and the way she does people too, the poses are so interesting and the palettes are always so beautiful and like, um, restricted, but really nice, like, nicely chosen, kind of, yeah, I love it, it's really, really cool. <laughs> so nice. I just love it. Look at the way the lines are colored here. So cool. So strong. Just so pleasant. I feel like it's so much fun to look at her work. I really like that. So dynamic. It's really, really cool. I hope you like it too. <laughs> I really love Gemma's work. It's really inspiring. So cool. Once again, these these were all commissions, but yeah, it's so cool. And this is like um, yeah, <laughs> an art meme of giraffe rig and stuff, and she just does it so nicely. This is great. <laughs> I love that. I feel like if there was like a queen of shapes, it would be Gemma because she's so amazing. Yeah. And there's so much other stuff too. And this is a series that I love so much also. I'm only gonna show a couple because there's a lot, but um, it was animal studies that she was doing. And as you can see, there's other characters and stuff that I haven't shown, so please go check out more of her stuff. But these characters, uh, sorry, these animal studies she was doing, to me, they're like an incredible demonstration of like knowledge and interest in animal anatomy. And I love that. I love how dynamic these are and like, she's doing the same color and marking if you'll notice uh, I'll, not on all of them but i'll show you on another one what i mean but anyway like it's so consistent and strong and like she's marking each body part so that um you like so that she's i guess she's analyzing like where the body part is and how it's interacting with the other body parts and it's so cool um yeah like on the arm the forearm the you know where it starts all that stuff. I love the little divisions on the bodies. It's fascinating. <laughs> so cool. It's just incredible design. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I feel like I learn a lot when I look at her stuff and it makes me want to like really get a better grasp on this type of thing. So here what I was talking about, I think she's doing it here. Uh, not so much, I guess, but um, 
Yeah, there's still the same division, but it, in one of the later ones is what I'm trying to say. Wait, I'll show you. Man, it's so cool. This is just incredible. It's so appealing, the way it's summarized into the line and curve and straight. Her shape design is just incredible. And man, just crazy. So cool. Um, scroll through the rest. Yeah, what I love about this one is that like the there's so much design. I love it. And like um, the shapes, they're I think it was present on the other ones too. Now that I notice, like it's always the same area. Um, yeah, like this is here, which is here. You know what I mean? And that kind of helps because if you notice, like here, here, here. All of these things can, um, if they are consistent across the, the different images, then you can tell that she understood, like, she understood how that part works. And it's really, really amazing. Like, that's not easy stuff to get a grasp of. And it just, it's so cool. Like, it's such a cool analysis, kind of. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Sorry if I'm wording it badly, but yeah. I just love it. There's so much style. It's beautiful. Yeah, and this one is one of my favorites because like this is insane. Drawing this is so cool. This is so cool too, what the hell. It's like so strong and solid. I love it. And here, yeah, this is kind of what I meant. Like the wing here, the inside is the same as the inside here. So you can see that the her grasp of what's going on is so strong. It's so incredible. I love it. Everything is so nice and like swooping. The strokes are really strong. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Amazing. It's so cool. And there's so much personality in what she does. It's really great. I don't know if I don't know if anybody likes these as much as I do. These mean so much to me. They're so impressive. I often look at these and just like just stare at them in awe because they're so cool. All of these animal studies she's done, they're really really cool. It's kind of like looking at an animal anatomy book, but um the poses are more dynamic than anything you've ever seen in a book, so <laughs> it's more useful. It's really, really cool. It just gives me a lot of admiration and respect for her, because this is not easy, and she works really hard to... And she, I guess you can see that there's like a lot of passion there, because if you understand an animal this well, um, you have to have had passion for learning about it and stuff. So it's really, really cool. <laughs> Love this one. You can really feel the push of the arms, like he's like holding his head up. <laughs> it's great. So cool. Look at all these shapes. It's so nice. There's a lot to learn from this. So yeah. <laughs> Man, she's so cool. Gemma. Yeah, so um, this is Gemma's work. I think there's more, I think I showed you a lot of stuff, so there's much more though, so check it out if you want. Like I said, there's a gumroad and everything, you can follow her everywhere else. And her work is just so great and really, really nice to look at, so go ahead, um, have fun. Oh yeah, this is another one I really liked. It was about like new Pokemon and I just love the way that the bodies are and the shorts, like everything is so dynamic and powerful and solid, like I said. <laughs> I just love that about her work. It's so cool. It's really fun to look at. Um, yeah, so follow Gemma. She's incredible and cool and fun. And yeah, okay, I hope you enjoyed her work. Have a nice day and let me know if you know her work and all that stuff or if you have a, a favorite piece or something like that. Okay, thanks, bye, have a nice day.